Hi, I'm museum archaeologist Gail Brown, and my question to you is, what is the trendiest place in Indianapolis? Well, the Bottle Works District, of course. Reimagining and reusing historic buildings from the historic Coca-Cola bottling plant, Bottle Works District has brought new energy to the north side of Mass Avenue. But did you know about the Bottle Works before the Bottle Works that became the Bottle Works? Well, let me introduce you to the original, the Yonker Bottling Works. Started in 1907 by brothers James and Leo Yonker, they got their start along the 700 block of East Michigan Street. However, by 1908, they moved here to the 800 block of Mass Avenue, where they used a small, modest, two-story brick building, typical of the late 19th century, to bottle a wide variety of sodas. Their soda brands included ginger ale, orange cider, lemon soda, strawberry pop, and iron brew. They competed in a very tight market here in Indianapolis with other local bottlers like Clee and Coleman, Rich Lieber, Growl, Metzger, and a new upcoming upstart bottling company called Coca-Cola, which just started bottling here in Indianapolis three years prior in 1904. They were able to hold their own here in the central Indiana market, even being so successful that they were able to purchase the Indianapolis Coca-Cola franchise in 1915. They were able to succeed very well based upon the power of the Coca-Cola's national marketing department which produced ads throughout the country, which led Coca-Cola to becoming one of the dominant sodas, both nationally and locally. They were so successful that by 1929, the Yonker brothers decided to end the Yonker brand, consolidating all of their effort into their new consolidated business, the Coca-Cola Bottling Company. They looked to expand their footprint here along Mass Avenue, building these beautiful Art Deco buildings that we see today, starting around 1930. This industrial campus remained active until the mid-1960s at the death of James Yonker, when the Coca-Cola Bottling Company was sold to a new owner and moved to a new location in Speedway, Indiana. When you come to visit the Bottle Works District today, let your imagination take a trip to the past. As you wander through the buildings, imagine the sounds of a bustling bottling works producing bottle after bottle of Coca-Cola. Imagine the smell of sweet cola syrup mixing with truck exhaust. And as you admire the architecture of the buildings, just imagine the bright future that those buildings promise to those involved with Coca-Cola. And if you want to, let your imagination go a little bit further back into time. Imagine a modest two-story brick building producing thousands of bottles of unique soda that were being transported throughout the city by horse-drawn wagons. If you can picture that in your head, you've arrived at the original Bottle Works.